hello, hello, my time is to roll. And thank you guys for tuning in. This is going to be a Earth Element read. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. We're going to see what's coming in for you guys for the second half of September. What message here it has for you guys. What is my Earth signs? Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn need to know at this time. In the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. If you're new here, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. At the bottom of the deck, guys, you have a new start is coming in for you guys. So my Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or if you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, there is a new start. I do feel like you guys have been meditating and contemplating. The new moon in Pisces. Pisces may be significant here. You guys could be meditating and contemplating over a situation with the Pisces. Huh. Spirit says look at the bigger picture. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius. Sagittarius may be significant. So you've been sitting back. You've been meditating. You've been contemplating over a situation here. And you've been looking at a bigger picture with something here. Tell me more. Our spirit wants you to sit down and meditate, contemplate over this, and look at the bigger picture. Yeah, they need you to believe in the impossible right now. Trust that things are going to work out in your favor, babies, okay? Tell me more. Yeah, the answers that you need, they're coming, sweeties, okay? Um, so it'll be coming in for you to, over the next two weeks here. Whatever you've been thinking about, whatever you've been contemplating on, whatever you've been think, whatever you've been planning, Spirit wants you to look at the overall picture. If something hasn't been working out in your favor, believe that it will. Whatever it is that you need, it, it's coming in here. Anything else for my Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn Spirit? I'm fine. Spirit wants you to step out of your comfort zone and show the world the real you here. They want you to believe in yourself and trust that things are, are, are working out in your favor here, guys, okay? Spirit says take time to breathe out. You may be stressed out right now. You may be, like I said, in a situation where you feel like shit is not going to work out in your favor. But Spirit says come out of that negative energy. Trust. Believe in the impossible. Let me see what's coming in and going on within your love life here. For my Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, my Earth element for the second half of September. So they need to know right now about their love life, the greatest and highest spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I do need to jump. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth elements. Okay, so you guys need to release your ex. Okay, it's the time has come for you to clear out your energy, guys. Whatever you've been holding on to, whatever you've been thinking about, it's time to let this go. You've been um, dwelling on this all in your head over this X. And it's time to let that shit go. It's time to heal. Spirit says it's time to look at the bigger picture here. Clarify, look at the bigger picture. What's coming in for my Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn? My love life. Yeah, so um, there may be somebody here that you have religious differences with. It says your love life is influenced by your rel religious upbringing and spiritual path. Spirit says look at the bigger picture here. Okay? I do feel like things are working in divine timing here. This is my divine timing card as well. Once you release your ex, I feel like things are going to change in your favor. Spirit says believe in the impossible here. Yeah. It's time to forgive and learn. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So as you let go and forgive this person, your ex, and what they did to you, you are going to be able to enjoy the present, the moments that you're supposed to be um, living in right now. You're so busy dwelling on what happened in the past, you're missing the here and now. The answers that you need are coming to me, okay? I know you're stressed out, babies, but the, what you need is coming to you, right? And it's worth the wait here, okay? Whatever you've been doing, 
it's all because of divine timing. I told you that earlier when I seen this card. This is my divine timing card. Divine timing is at work in your love life, babies. Okay? But you have to release this egg so you can move forward. You have to forgive so that you can be open to or something new. Okay? If you can't forgive and heal, you can't even show the world a real you. Because you're going to be guarded and blocked. Because you're going to be afraid of whatever this ex did to you is going to happen to you again. It's time to release that. Yeah, you're in separation from this ex. And it's time to continue to move forward. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Free yourself. You may need to break up with somebody. Somebody may need to become an ex. Spirit says free yourself. Separation is here. It's time to take back control of your life here. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Is that it? Let me tell me one more for you. Thank you. Okay, so yes, if you can release this ex and get over whatever religious differences you may have with whoever this new person is here, you need to learn to forgive so this new person can come in. You've been waiting and, and working and, and, and doing what needs to be done in this time of separation. Okay? You've been healing yourself. Now it's time to show yourself and step out towards this new person. But you need to be completely over this ex here. Spirit says, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So I do, I do see you moving towards something new here. A brand new relationship. So Spirit says... You need to heal from this ex so that you can be open to this new here. This time that you've been alone was so that you could heal. Okay? You've been you've been single all this time or in this separation without somebody because you were waiting and doing the work for this new person that's coming in or has recently came in. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy this time together, guys. Do not set any expectations. Just get to know each other. Have fun. If this is a reconnection, reconnect. Get to know each other all over again. Forgive and learn. But somebody needs to release their ex for sure. This is what's preventing them from moving forward to something new. Okay. Any final message of spirit for my Taurus? Virgos and Capricorns, name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we do need it to jump. Any final messages? Thank you. First card out is judgment. Judgment is being served here. Okay? Karma is being served. If you did good, then good is coming towards you. If you did bad, bad is coming back. You know who you are. Okay? You know what your situation is. I do feel like you guys are elevating. You're going to go, your, your, your vibration is elevating. You're moving up to the next level here. Yeah, you're moving towards happiness here. You're moving towards your own happiness. Celebration. You could be hanging out with friends and family. You could be praying, doing meditation, things to, to bring you happiness, to uplift lift your spirit. Yeah, here comes the sun. There's happiness here for you. This is the best card of the deck here. I feel like you've done the healing and the work. You finally released this ex. Okay? You took the time to heal and, and love on yourself. And now you have this brand new um enjoyment, this brand new, this brand new life, this brand new beginning here. Okay? And it, it's a blessing from God here. This is something that's gonna bring you a lot of happiness and joy. Yeah, and it's coming right here in your near future. Three of Wands. You 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 did the fight. You fought the hard road. Now you're waiting on your ships to come in. And they're about to come in. Anything else? Yeah. I do see you. It's single, stable, shiny. Um, I see you walking away from this person here. Moving towards your happiness. Towards your future here. The Nine of Pentacles is someone. Even if you have a person... This is someone who is stable all within their own right. You don't need anything or anyone. You may want somebody, but you're 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 independent, you're self-sufficient all along. Okay? And this is where you're headed to, even if you are with somebody else or you end up being with somebody else. 
Your money's going to be good. You're going to be good. You're following your intuition here. Okay? And you're allowing your intuition to lead you into this future. Anything else for my Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorns? Okay. Yes, yeah, so there was some lying and sneaky and deceptive shit going on around the situation. Judgment is being called. There was some type of third party situation here. Okay. But there is a brand new passion in the beginning here. Somebody is finally finding their happiness. They have made a choice and a decision to go towards their happiness. They're going towards this person that they love, this Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or it could just be somebody they have a lot of emotions, a lot of love for. Is that his spirit? Yeah, so somebody wants to, someone wants to come out the cold, no longer wants to be alone. Someone's made a decision that they're going towards their happiness, they're going towards who they love. Clarify this five of pentacles from the spirit. Clarify the five of pentacles. Thank you. Yeah, so there was some type of obsession, some type of addiction. There was some type of heartbreak here. And this person is walking away from it to head towards what they love. They're healing themselves. This could be self-love. That's confirmation there. So this could be you towards Virgo and Capricorn. You guys are healing yourselves. You're going towards what makes you happy here. Okay? You have healed. You have healed from whatever this lying, sneaky, deceptive person was in your life. And you're headed towards this brand new passion in the beginning. You have made the decision. You choose you. You could choose another love, but you choose you. And you're focused on you. You no longer want to be left out in the cold. You no longer will be manipulated and had games played here. You're getting over it and you're moving towards something brand new. You have completely released this ex. Yep. This could have been a wife. Came out in reverse. You have released this person. Could be a baby's mother. But you're done. And if you haven't, this is what you need to do. It's time to release it. Okay, guys, so over the next two weeks, this is what you need to do. If you want your happiness, you need to walk away from this ex. You need to completely release it. If um, you've already released this ex and you're moving forward, this new person is coming in. Okay, guys? So until next time, if this resonated with you guys, let me know down in the description. I mean, let me know down in the comment section. If you're interested in booking it personally, you want to know more about your particular situation, if you're interested in buying any of my products or leaving me a tip or donation, all that information is down below in the description box. So until next time, my babies, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Bye, TT's babies.